lovely people. My name is Nicole and it is beautiful and sunny out here in Washington. So I thought today I would talk about some of my favorite sunny summer contemporaries. Most of these are romances, but you know, when it is beautiful out, I always just want to read cute contemporary romances, so I thought I would share with you guys some of my favorites. I limited this list to only one book per author, but a lot of these authors have multiple books that could easily have fit onto this list. Um, so check out their other books as well. So the first book is What I Thought Was True by Huntley Fitzpatrick. This is about a girl who lives on this small island which is a popular tourist destination. That's how the island gets most of its income. And one summer this really cute rich boy from across the bay gets a job on the island and there's some romantic tension there. But our main character Gwen is very worried about her family and the home that she loves so much because they're running out of money. And it's this really fantastic mix of adorable romance and really good discussions of family and loving where you came from and that sort of thing. The next book on the list is Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. It was about a girl named Emily who her best friend Sloane has always been the outgoing one. She has pulled Emily out of her shell. She's the one who encourages her to go do crazy stuff. But then one day Sloane just kind of disappears and Emily is left with a list of 13 things to do. And this takes her on an emotional journey throughout the summer. There's a lot of really good romance and self-discovery in this as well as some fantastic friendship. The next book is This Is What Happy Looks Like by Jennifer E. Smith. This is about a girl who gets an email from an address she doesn't really recognize one day. Uh, ask some guy asking her to watch his dog or something. She doesn't really understand, but she, so she you know, emails him back saying, I, I think you have the wrong email address, and they start up a conversation. They start up this email relationship, and turns out the boy who emailed her is this super cute movie star who decides to set his next movie in her small town, and it's this fantastic movie star, small town girl, falling in love kind of thing, but the main girl wants to avoid media attention at all costs. Why? I honestly don't remember. But it is really, really cute. Just one of those fantastic fluffy romances. Now, if you like the concept of small town girl, big movie star, falling in love kind of thing, but aren't a fan of Jennifer E. Smith's writing, Catch a Falling Star by Kim Culbertson has a very similar plot, except it's more of a hate to love kind of relationship. The next book on my list is Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe. This one is more of a friendship tale that has a touch of romance in it, but I think I would classify it as a romance. It's about two boys named Aristotle and Dante who meet over the summer and they are basically polar opposites, but they become best friends and over the course of the next year or so, they just get closer and they talk and they tell each other everything and they talk about their past and their family drama and struggling with sexuality type stuff. And if you're looking for books with good queer representation, this is definitely a fantastic one. Benjamin O'Leary Sands, Sands, I'm sorry, actually recently announced that he's writing a sequel, so I am very excited for that. The next book is Everything Leads to You by Nina LaCour and this is actually one of my all-time favorite books. It's about this girl who works as a set designer in LA and one day she finds some letters from an old dead movie star that lead her to his granddaughter and then she and the granddaughter kind of fall in love and it's this wonderful queer love story but some of the things that I really love about it are first of all it's so atmospheric this whole old Hollywood vibe is amazing even though it, it's modern but it still has that really cool rich old Hollywood vibe and then also it is a queer love story without any kind of coming out drama. Our main character is already out, she's already comfortable with who she is, she's already had relationships before, so this is not about that aspect of her identity. It's just a love story and it is absolutely beautiful. Next is Lola and the Boy Next Door by Stephanie Perkins. She is sort of the queen of contemporary romance with her Anna Lola Isla series. This is the middle one in the series, but they are companion novels, not like direct sequels. So if you haven't read Anna or Isla, that's okay. This particular one is about a girl who is an aspiring fashion designer and one day the house that for the majority of her life has been empty off and on uh, is is filled. There is suddenly people there and they happen to be the, the family that was there when she grew up and they have a son who's about her age. 
she kind of hates. I wonder what's gonna happen there. It's adorable, I will promise you that. The next book I have is Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda. This one isn't so much summary, but it is one of my all-time favorite contemporary romances, so I had to include it in this list. This is about a boy who is in a secret online relationship with another boy at his school. They don't know who each other are, they only know each other by their pen names. And one day, this relationship gets discovered by another boy at their school, and that boy threatens to out Simon if Simon does not help him with something. It sounds kind of dark from that description, but I promise it's hilarious and absolutely adorable. One of my all-time favorite contemporary romance relationships, Simon and Blue, are absolutely precious. Highly recommend it. It's amazing. Next book is Proof of Forever by Alexa Hillier. This one is about four girls who used to be best friends at their summer camp, but sort of fell apart after they left. One day they're at a reunion and the flash of the photo booth sends them back in time to their last summer and they have to sort of figure out what went wrong, why they fell apart, and what they can do to get back to their normal time. So I'd say that the main plotline in this is definitely a friendship kind of thing, but a couple of the girls have their own romantic subplots. One of the girls has a queer romantic subplot, so if you're looking for books with representation, this is definitely one for you. This is just sort of a fun summer friendship kind of read. Next is On the Fence by Casey West and pretty much any of Casey West's books. If you're looking for a summary cute romance, 100% perfect. They're all super fluffy, not too much like really heavy emotional make you cry kind of stuff, but just pure adorable fluff romance. They're fantastic. So this one is about a girl who is very much a tomboy. She has an absurd number of brothers, but one day in order to pay off a speeding ticket, she has to get a job at this very, very girly boutique. And in order to cope with all this stress of being surrounded by lace and frills and glitter and all that jazz all day, she talks to the boy next door who is, has been really good friends with her and her brothers for a long time, but now she's starting to see that maybe there might be something more there between them. Very, very cute, very good for the best friends to lovers kind of trope. It's adorable. And the final book on this list is Beauty Queens by Libba Bray. This one is honestly just hilarious. It's so much fun to read. It's very absurdist kind of comedy. It's about a group of beauty queens who on their way to their pageant crash land on this island and it's a little bit of dark humor, a little bit of just weird humor. There are some really, really good queer representation. There is a bisexual girl, a lesbian, and a trans girl, I believe, um, if I'm remembering correctly. This one has a couple romantic subplots, but for the most part it's just weird and funny and a lot of fun to read. <laughs> Alright, so those are my recommendations for summary romance contemporary reads. Let me know what some of your favorites in this particular genre are or what you like to read when it gets beautiful and sunny out. I love you and I will see you later. Bye!